سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر. These are words that we're taught to say on a frequent basis, and they are the most common forms of dhikr that we have. But what exactly do they mean? You see, a lot of people might think that they need some sort of dua that sounds a lot fancier, they need something longer. But these words are what the Prophet said are ahabbul kalami ilallah, the most beloved of words to Allah. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. He said وسلم, that these words are more beloved to me than anything under the sun. And these are the words that our father Ibrahim السلام, told our Prophet وسلم, to give us as they are the seeds by which we plant our trees in Jannah bi idnillahi ta'ala. Now, if we knew what the meaning of these words were and what their benefits were and the best times to use them, then we would deeply connect to them ta'ala and connect more to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what we're going to be doing this Dhul-Hijjah is we're going to be taking the most common forms of dhikr, the phrases that you say frequently. SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Astaghfirullah, Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad, and so on and so forth. And we're going to extract their profound meanings ta'ala, talk about their incredible benefits and talk about the best ways to use them. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who he describes as al-dhakirin Allah kathira wa those who remember Allah frequently from the men and from the women.